Going to go and watch the sunrise at the beach. It's like 6.30 a.m. so it should be rising soon. This is my first ever YouTube video and I'm very excited. Anyways, yeah, so I don't know what the YouTube channel is going to be about. I'm going to upload like a bunch of different videos. I really want to do like vlogging or, you know, I live in Sydney, Australia and I feel like Sydney, Australia is so one of like the most popular cities or like people really like it and everything. So I'm going to do, I have like a bunch of video ideas like for Sydney specifically um but most of them I want to do in summer and not winter because it's cold here and like everyone wants to visit Australia in summer obviously because of the beaches and everything so yeah I'm just making some protein pancakes for breakfast. First of all, I'm just adding some flour in a bowl. I'm just winging the measurements of how much I'm using. It's just self-raising flour. Then I'm using some baking powder. Again, I make this just for myself all the time, so I always just wing how many of the ingredients I use. And I'm just adding some vanilla protein powder. I only use a small amount of this because I don't like the texture that it can give if you use too much. It makes them really rubbery, so just using a little bit then I'm gonna go ahead and mash up um, a little bit of an old banana just for some sweetness as I don't have any vanilla essence otherwise I would use vanilla essence and then I'm just adding some xylitol instead of sugar a pinch of salt Then I'm going to go in and use some ground cinnamon. Uh, I really like the flavor of cinnamon, so I add it to a lot of things. Then I'm just adding an egg. And then I'll add some whole protein milk. And then I'm just going to stir that around with um, one of our mixing beaters, because our other um, beater was in the dishwasher and then I realized that I need a little bit more milk so I just go ahead and add that until the consistency is nice. Introduction for Binky. Bink. 
Oh, yeah. He's literally right there. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, everyone. This is Binky. He's my little pride and joy. He's very heavy and he's very big. He weighs eight kilos. I absolutely love him. And he will be in a lot of these videos. So I thought I should do an introduction. So his name is Binky, but he goes as Mr. Bink, Mr. Binkleton, Sir Binkleton, Lord Binkleton, The Bink, The Binkleton. It's like, you know, you get the gist. So if you hear any of those names, just know that it's, it's him. So I'm literally just about to go and get my teeth whitened. It's like a 20 minute drive. Um, so yeah. From the appointment and my teeth are so white so I'm really happy about that it takes like um like an hour and a half to get it done and it's like no sensitivity or anything so very happy about that um now I'm just gonna meet up with my friend Anna, we're gonna go and get something to eat. I haven't eaten anything all day and it's like 12 o'clock, which is fine. It's not that out of the ordinary for me, but um, yes. So I will check back in later.
Good morning. Um, so today, um, I don't have like a whole lot planned, but I am going to go and meet up with my friend Anna. So every single week, we both have Friday off, but um, she's working Friday, so it's Thursday, and she said that we could meet up for coffee in the morning before she goes to work. So I was like, yes, because we can't meet up tomorrow, and it's literally our weekly ritual. We all ritual. We always meet up on Fridays, and we do something fun, and I love it. So when it doesn't happen, I get extremely sad. So I was very happy when she said that. So I'm going to go into, she's, um, we're going to meet up in Surrey Hills because they have some really nice like bakeries with like really good coffee. It's really good. So I'm going to go there and then I don't really have any plans other than work. So I shall check back in if anything interesting happens but I don't know if it will so And then we just went to one of the, it's we're cool. in Surrey Hills and there's like lots Flashback. <laughs> Flashback. There's lots of like little vintage stores around here where you can get like, this store was like for secondhand clothes. So they had a lot of the nice brands in there. Um, it was a first time going there. So we'll just do a little haul on what we got. They're very successful. Yes, very <laughs> successful. Um, there was like some, a lot of other nice stuff in there but the prices were like what you would get for them brand new, I feel like. Do you think that Greek yeah. dress was like $89? Yeah. I was like, mm. Just like it wasn't really hand. worth it. It wasn't but worth it. But the quality was nice. And like, it was pretty. And they didn't look used. Like, they still look pretty new. Most of them had the tags still on them. So, I guess I guess it's probably fine. I didn't know the brand, though. Yeah. But Anna found this dress that I stole. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, my birthday weekend is next weekend. Oh, you can't even see the tassels. You can't even see the tassels. It's just from <laughs> White Fox. Um, and it was only $54. And amazing little straps. Exactly. So I have these knockoff <laughs> Amina Mawadi heels. And they've got like the little silver diamante bows. So I was like, oh, this one looks so cute with that. It and so cute. Yeah. So also, it's like a birthday dress. Like you have to exactly. wear it as the birthday girl. Yeah, exactly. Because my birthday's... My birthday dinner is next weekend so I feel like this would be good for that it's quite mini and then these are like really cute <laughs> and then I just got as we were leaving I literally just seen this like olive green like knit dress I look similar to a dress you have but it's a different fabric yeah I have so many green dresses so the other olive dress was like a more satiny and like yeah. flowy and it's got like a belt that you the can one you do up too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then this one's like tight. I feel like this would look just so nice, like you know, on Sundays when we're like, let's Coffee, catch up. Yeah, brunch. Yeah, so nice. So cute. It so was like, only it's like got 20... like little riffles. Yeah, in there. only like twenty five dollars. Pretty so, good. And it's a um, Meshki, isn't it? Meshki, yeah, good brand. Now, Anna, show us what you got. I found this dress. It's a mini dress from Gorgeous. Back and Bridge. So cute, like spaghetti straps, and then like a low back. 
looks really good Very on. Very cute. It's like mm -hmm. bodycon and yeah, it's like this rusty brown. And then I got, oh, there we go. <laughs> Little t-shirt dress with <laughs> roaching. Yellow is definitely Anna's color. It'll look good. nice. Me, tan in Europe. With blonde hair. <laughs> We're going to Europe next year and our excuse for everything already <laughs> is, well, it'll look really good in Europe next year. I mean, it's like it's a whole year away. away, but who cares? <laughs> We're already stocking up. Maybe this is not fashionable by then, but I'll wear it in summer here as well. So it's really cute. The next one is definitely a Europe, <laughs> a Europe buy. What do you mean? I wear this to the office. <laughs> so the next one I saw as we were checking out, so I couldn't try it on. It's this little um, bikini. It's like a matching set and um, skirt. Super cute. It's giving festival vibes. Definitely. Um, like this. So cute. Don't know if it fits my boobs. Um, we'll make the best out of it. And I can bring it <laughs> yeah. back if it doesn't fit. And yeah, it's from Tiger Mist. So and cute. I, this is definitely Europe like party vibes. For sure. And it, like on the beach, it would look really Even nice as this well. One, Just like, like a pullover. Yeah, this one with like jeans or this one with a white tee. I like it. So cute. I love it. So very Even happy. One day I have like a festival or something in the summer. <laughs> Yeah. And all of these three I got for only $125. So just pretty good. Yeah. And they look brand new. So we were literally saying like a few weeks ago that it's really hard to find good clothes like in stores these days, like in shops. So that's why it was like so nice seeing this shop because they have all of the like really popular online brands. But in, in, a sh in a shop where you and can track them. And for cheaper, exactly. <laughs> so it was actually a win win situation. But there's also lots of other good um, vintage shops around. Yeah, Surrey so Hills. last time we went to a vintage shop in Surrey Hills, Anna found this leather jacket. What brand was it? Um, good question. <laughs> you have to tell the story of how, how yeah. much it was. Anyways, like literally a week prior, I saw an influencer promoting the leather jacket on Instagram and I was like, I love these leather jackets. Let me look up how much they are. Oh, it's All Saints. All Saints. And they're like $600 and I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I want to spend that much money. Yeah. And then like we went to brunch in uh, Surrey Hills and we walked past those vintage shops and then I saw the exact jacket that I was looking at online yeah. for 150 yeah, yeah, it was about that. And it had like a tiny hole in the inside fabric, like the yeah Cut, but who cares but like <laughs> i also feel like it was like you could tell that it was worn but it looks nice i feel nice like that worn. Yeah, nicely worn. Yeah, yeah nicely worn i feel like that because i feel like sometimes when you get new leather things you kind of want the worn look yeah so it, it looks like broken in yeah and it was such a good vibe i really liked that store, Didn't store. You, and you bought a jumper. i got i got a, like a vintage is it called a crew neck yeah no it no. quarters it Quarter zip. I got a Wasn't vintage it? quarter zip. Yeah, a little yeah. grey. It's so like cute. a jersey. It was really nice. But Anna's buy was definitely the highlight. I was very pleased. Highlight of that day. <laughs> I know. And and it looks so good on her. See, I don't think that I could pull off a leather, <laughs> a leather jacket. <laughs> there you could. An all leather look. Yeah. I tried to buy, I bought those leather brown pants because I got the same ones that Andrea has uh, from Zara. Yeah. But. They didn't look good. Worry. It's because I'm short. I don't know. Leather's not a look on me. Editing the video now, and I realized that I don't have um, any kind of like outro. So I just thought I would jump in and say thank you so much for watching. Um, again, my first YouTube video. So uh, yeah, I really appreciate any views that I get at all. I'm really actually just doing this for fun um, because. It's like a digital diary like it'll be so nice to have something to look back on in years to come or even like when I'm old um, you know to see the fun times that I've had with my friends and um, yes because there's gonna be like lots of different ideas and video ideas and like even Binky like Binky's only like two years old at the moment so it'll be so nice like I don't even want to think about it but you know when he's like old I can like look back on videos with him in it and he's like young and life like lively and everything so yeah I just um I'm excited to start this YouTube channel I'm excited to like have things to look back on experience new things because I also feel like having this channel will also like push me I'm really doing it because like it'll push me to do things like out of my comfort zone 
um, because like often I'll be like, oh, like I need ideas and things to film. Then I end up doing things that I actually genuinely wanted to do anyways. So yeah, um, I appreciate it. I hope you all have a, a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.